what did one stranger do that y'all never forget? In 2004, I was in the middle of a divorce. Started over my life with my truck keys and two daughters, seven and four. I was in the grocery store and had some items to tide us over for a few days. I left my wallet and my coat in the truck and didn't want to hold up the line. I kept apologizing and asked the cashier to cancel the transaction and ID run out and get back in line to pay. It was like 50 bucks lady behind me paid. I told her I would wait for her and pay her when she finished. She looked at me and said, you look like you have your hands full. Pay it forward someday. I never forgot her kindness and I have probably paid for half a dozen people since then that were in similar situations. Pay it forward. She gave me some hope for humanity at a time when I needed it. Thank you mystery lady. TLDR said good night to me. I flew from NJ to Austin, Texas to officiate my cousin's wedding. The entire ordeal sucked. I had two young children a baby and a toddler. We brought along a super heavy car seat that we ended up not needing. The commute there was tough. At the actual event, I had to do the work of officiating the wedding, all the while dealing with the young kids. Yao'd think I'd have more help being surrounded by family, but nope. After the trip, the flight back home was just as exhausting. I also got an unpleasant email at the airport about an unrelated occurrence. The usual attitude from TSA. My kids tantruming and when I got back to NJ, it was raining hard to add insult to injury. I left the wife and kids at the terminal so I could get the car, swing back and pick them up it make more sense than all of us going to the parking lot. I got into the elevator with another family, a husband, wife and their teen daughter. I was really on the brink of a breakdown after that whole trip. They got off one level before me, and as they exited the elevator the dad made sure to tell me have a good night. He said it in a way as if he somehow knew what I went through. I needed that man I really needed that. A fruit stand vendor gave me fruits for free because I couldn't transfer money to his account. I then went home and took cash and then traveled to his stand and paid him. The gangsta dude at the gas station who was walking up to the door with his friend and stopped to tell him hold up. I gotta hold the door for this bitch as he held the door for me. Classic. 45 years ago my mom picked my up from my Cub Scouts meeting. But we had to stop at the drugstore on the way home. We were waiting there for what seemed like forever and I remembered I had a quarter in my pocket I forgot to give our den leader for dues so I grabbed a Datu 5 candy bar and went to the counter to buy it. I didn't know about tax. I was humiliated when the clerk asked for Datu 6, but a nice dude behind me gave them the Dot Zero 1 for me. I will never forget the relief I felt. I gave a homeless guy 20 and he said no you keep it. You look like you need it more than me I walked off smiling, but I knew deep down inside it was because I had recently been smoking meth, and it was starting to show 4 years clean yesterday. This was an undergrad one of the closest grocery stores near me was Trader Joe's. I was having a bad day and I didn't have a lot of money, but I needed to pick up some things for dinner bc I was hungry. Anyway I get to the checkout and my total was only around 35 or so and then my card declines. I'm woefully embarrassed and I'm starting to panic bc there's a line forming behind me. Next thing I know, the guy who's ringing up my order pulls out his own wallet and proceeds to pay for my groceries. He shrugged it off and smiled and I practically stared crying lol. It was just so sweet. When we had to put down our 18 year old cat, Fred, I was sitting in the waiting room at the vets while my husband wrapped things up at the front desk. I was in shock, numb and bewildered. The pain was so immense I couldn't express, it was too big to leave my body. The young orthodox Jewish couple who were there with their dog must have seen something in my face, though, because the woman walked over and hugged me. Just hugged me, a grieving stranger. I've never forgotten her kindness. My card got declined at a Walgreens when I was trying to buy some aspirin. I was suicidally depressed, on food stamps, living in my car, suffering an insane headache, and just realized I had run out of money for the month. I'm trying to hold my shit together long enough to apologize and just put the aspirin back when this kid behind me, about 17 about 5-ish years younger than me at the time, said to the cashier that had get it. Then he looked at me and asked if I wanted anything else, like a candy or drink. I said no, that's okay, but he bought me a ginger ale anyway because it always helps me when I feel like shit which made me laugh. Then he walked with me to my car, brushed off my thank you with a very genuine we've all been there, and told me he hoped to see me around. When I jokingly asked, so I can pay you back, he very seriously said no. Kid could smell the suicidal ideation on me, I'm sure. I think about him all the time. It's been like 20 years. I hope he's having a good life out there. Was hitchhiking in 2014. I was camping in Zayn Park in Utah. It was dark. A foreign guy pulled up on his bike and asked if he could set up his tent for the night. Got his tent set up and crawled inside. Came back out in a koala onesie. We sat for a bit and looked at the stars and swapped stories. 
I finished the Chicago Marathon and was pretty bummed that I didn't have any family or friends at the finish line. A few hours later, I was in a pizza restaurant by myself, still wearing my medal, and some random lady came up to me and said, I just want you to know that I'm really proud of you. It made me want to cry. I was walking to the park late at night planning to kill myself, a stranger walked past me and as he did he simply smiled at me and waved. I had decided because of that, that I wasn't going to kill myself. Seeing that stranger smile at me like I was a long lost friend made me think differently, and now I'm still alive, 11 years later. Tip your hat to that of the unknown, it's polite to gesture a lonesome stranger. I was on a school trip to Italy and we were on the dome of the St. Peter's Basilica. I ran across a fairly handsome Danish dude a few times on the way up and down, and at the top he told me I'm not gay. But I would be for you. I'm not gay either. But a compliment is a compliment and we took pictures. I still think about it when I'm feeling down, tbh. A homeless person gave me a titty twister when I was holding my child in public. Had the most lovely conversation about life with an elderly lady. I was going to college in Chicago waiting for a bus to get back to my apartment after a late night class and she was getting off of her shift as a housekeeper at a hotel nearby. She asked if she could sit by me and we had a life-changing conversation on a short 15-minute bus ride. Flashed me completely naked at a gas pump when I was 12. The first naked adult you see should never be an elderly naked man with bad intentions. A Walmart employee was checking out at the self-checkout beside me. He finished and then quietly asked me if I was done ringing my stuff up. I wasn't sure why he was asking me, but I said yes and I noticed he was swiping something at the register I was using. He swiped his employee discount for me without telling me. I looked around for him once I realized, but I didn't see him. I would have liked to thank him. When I was 18, I was involved in a car accident. After the crash, I climbed out of the car and started hyperventilating on the street due to stress and adrenaline. A woman passing by noticed me and rushed to help, calming me down with reassuring words like I'm glad you're alive and the crashed car isn't important, it's you that matters. She stayed by my side until I regained my composure. I never had the chance to say thank you. In that moment of fear, she was like an angel to me. I was about 8 years old standing in line at the gas station with my nano when the old man in front of us turns around, smiles at me, then gives me a silver dollar. No reason, just gave it to me. I'm 30 now and still have it saved in my jewelry box. I was in an abusive marriage and had just had my son. I was isolated, depressed, miserable and felt generally invisible. I took my son to the Rose Bowl to run with him in his stroller. It took everything to get up and go. I was crying on off. A woman running past me reached her hand out and yelled go girl and gave me a high five. It moved me so much that I sobbed after she passed me. I swear that gesture helped me find the strength to get out. I'm very happily remarried and my son is doing amazingly and my ex is now sober. Life is wonderful and I will always remember that woman.